Hi, friends of golfers. Eric Silver, EJS Golf Academy. Today we're going to do a little, let's call it a little battle of the uh, Pro Sender versus Greg Norman secret, which uh, the reason I'm doing this is somebody asked a question about the secret along with kind of, um, I had already started kind of explaining my feelings on what I think good training aids are just in general. Um, and I did make a whole video on that, but just in general, when I talk training aids and if I would ever use them with a student, it has to have a component that's huge and the component is i'm probably not gonna i feel like i'm gonna use probably the wrong words a little bit here but, but not really so if i anything that holds me in a certain position okay um i'm not gonna use okay so if let me just start with this the pro center where i love it okay and then then i think going the other way is gonna make more sense that if you look at how simple this thing is let me get as close as i can where you guys can see how this goes on I just wrap it around here um, and it also comes with a ball which you it goes around the buckle here so you can put it between your uh, elbows and feel that which could be the best part of it no i mean both both of them are really good some like that feel of the ball right here some don't but either way for most people it's a good way to train um most people are just too much hands and arms so that that helps get their body more activated in their swing so this right here my goal in the golf swing whether i have this thing on or not Great little drill here to practice, okay? You don't even have to have this on here. Put your hand out like this. It's, it's, it's real important where our fingers are pointing when we're doing this too, because we're, we're wanting this to give us a great feeling so we know what to do when we actually um, are swinging at it, okay? Um, and it goes like this. And you swing it to the top, you're gonna be a waiter. So what did I do though? I got a big hinge in my right wrist. That is one of my main focuses in golf getting this big hinge up here on the way back. If I don't hinge at all, I'm gonna be losing so much power. I'm gonna come down and it's like, you're gonna get one of these things back behind it. Now it doesn't mean you can't do that if you get it hinged up here, but when you learn how to move the right way, then you'll be like, oh, geez, wish I would've been taught that earlier. <laughs> I always feel bad about that for people, but it's like, I wasn't there, um, or I would have, but I, you know, so, Love this training aid. I, I, I think it's great. There's a reason you see a lot of people using it because if one of my goals is to get to here, right? I And, and if you can see, I don't know if you can see it real close, it's a little like place for the finger, uh, your lead finger, see that right there? It goes in. And I like that because I feel like for me, sometimes it's hard for me to feel a three there, but if I can feel that one, I know I'm still there. And then the other key thing that happens is when you have some uh, training aid that's Let's say they took this thing, there's something out there, um, and I'm not gonna use the name, that you um, hold you in a position basically like this. So you would take it, you know, you'd get your grip on there, on the glove somehow, and you go up, and I'm in it, and you come back and you'd hit the ball just like that. But you're locked in this position. So the problem with being locked into a certain position, guess what our brains love to do with that one? No matter what, we fight against it, okay? We just fight it. And so maybe you don't notice it at first. Maybe you're, maybe you even do a drill, hundred balls or whatever, and you're, you're okay. Good, I'm getting, I'm getting it. I would highly, I would highly question if you really did get it. Okay, you got how to swing with the training aid. We know that for sure. Okay, so um, I, I do urge everybody to go watch the other video on the pro center, and, um, since I'm not going to cover everything about it, because this is about the difference for the two. Uh, I wanted to make for that guy um that commented about the he, he basically asked a question um everybody's been really nice and they appreciate it and um but he was he said basically what there does what's the difference between the two are they similar what, what's the deal so um when we look at it already i'm like oh cool yeah greg's trying to kind of get us to do the same thing i just i can't you know it's one of those things where I feel like in golf that I talk about certain things quite a, lo a lot, okay? Um, and even in certain terminologies, I'll use a little more passion with it. But the thing is, it's like, I really think people, um, you know, are not getting that part because if I am, you know, talking about the right wrist right here, and you know, you are a one that has really trouble hitting the ball, does that mean much to you? The thing is, it should, if I'm bringing it up to you, right, it should be a priority of yours. But I, I guarantee if you're that new of a golfer um, and you're showing with something else, like, like that's not a drill I give, like usually right off the bat to <laughs> somebody, okay? Never. So um, all depends on playing ability and, and you know, there's other factors that go into it. So you can see I have this 
tough to draw my finger here to hold my finger back. Now, here's the problem with the this thing, with it holding my finger, okay? Guess what my body is doing when I swing it? It feels really good right here. Um, but if I'm trying to like come down like this, this thing's actively pulling me back, keeping me like that, so I can't do it, right? Our heads are trying to do it. Whatever amount of force we're putting into it, but we're not going to just take it down and not do anything. Now, the other the parties may think that's what's going on, but overall, it, it isn't. So, um, I urge you to look and check out the Pro Center. It, you know, it's a very expensive piece of plastic, but it seems like everything is these days. Um, maybe get some friends going on with that go on or go in. It. <laughs> Pool your money. How about that uh, to make it a little cheaper? But whatever it is, it, it, you know, I think when you understand what you're doing with it, you know, you'll like, okay, I, I don't know if I really needed one, but you know, I, I'm not gonna discourage it because I do think it's a good one. So up here, I know I'm using the other one, but see, I got that big hinge, okay, right there. Cause I wanna be able to get my left side back now. Boom, look at this position I'm in to do what? Boom, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so fun talking to you guys as always. Hey, fire me a question. If there's a video you want me to make, let me know, I'll get to it. Um, and you know, had a little discussion. So thanks for, um, I'm drawing blank on your name right now, but asking me a question about this. What I am just most surprised about is I have, I don't know if you can see, I, have few, I mean, this is my, my second teaching bay, which I don't do much teaching out of here. I do stuff like this and I do online coaching out of here mainly because I can do it from home instead of you know, my golf course bay. So I got tons of boxes right here, a um, bunch of crates, uh, three full of training aids, uh four no about four full of training aids so i, I thought okay i'll go but I'll, I'll just go look i that's if thing was sitting right on top i'm like you gotta be kidding me like i don't think i've seen the thing in 30 years i don't think sitting on top i you know i don't think 30 years is the right number but it sure feels like it so anyways folks thanks for watching eric Solberg, ejs golf academy